What's up toes, Camo Harder 101 here, and today I want to review something totally different. It's clothing. I've never touched the subject before because I never really felt the need to. I feel that clothing is something that people experience differently, and it's not too, you know, like a t-shirt's a t-shirt, and you can just look up the design online, and, you know, how I experience a t-shirt is different than how, I guess, someone else does, so it doesn't really qualify for much, but this is... This is something special, this is something different. This is a uh, spike hoodie. I just wanted to um, talk about it a little bit because it is pretty expensive if you buy it at full price. I got it half off for $30 and no normal price is 60. So uh, you can get it on Hot Topic and I just want to mention it because it's got all these bells and whistles that don't come with a normal hoodie and especially with Halloween coming along I think it'd be a really cool costume and this is what I'm going to be using for Halloween if I actually go out and do something. It's really cool. It's got the um, eye painted on and it's got the flaps from spikes, spikes on the side, on the top and on the back. I'll get to that. And then on the side he's, it's got his little, I call them gill thingies. It's on both sides. Eyes are on both sides and he's got little teeth. So it's a really cool uh, design, and they have them for ponies too. They have the um, the manes and then the uh, horns and wings and stuff on those hoodies, and uh, they're really interesting. But I never wanted to get a pony one because they're just um, they're too girly in my opinion. But I do like the spike one. I like the purple and green. Purple and green is always an amazing color. Uh, the strings are green, and then it's got the the tummy pattern on the front, which is the green, and then purple all around. Like I mentioned earlier, spikes on the back, and get the zipper, wherever that is, right here. And the zipper is a gemstone made out of like rubber, so that's uh, that's good quality. The zipper zips up and down fine. Uh, it's I really like the quality of the hoodie. It's I'll put the I'll put the specs on screen just just because I don't remember them off the top of my head, and I don't feel like looking on the. Um, on the tag, I guess I'll, here, let's see if they're here. Oh, I, I got a large, and, uh, let's see. It's 60% cotton, 40% polyester, if that means anything to you guys. I know cotton is a better material than polyester, but the polyester, a lot of it goes into, like, the, uh, little flap on the top and uh, all that sort of bells and whistles. The, it feels like cotton, which is nice. And then, uh, if I didn't mention, it is a, a pocket hoodie. So there, there are pockets here for like your phone or something. So it's a really nice hoodie. Um, I'll throw pictures up on screen if I haven't already because I think it is nice just to see someone wearing it, just to see how it's going to look on an actual person. And then the uh, top little spike flap does like droop over. So um, just keep that in mind also. And I got that from Hot Topic if I didn't mention. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show was this uh, really neat comic I found at the comic book store. It's uh, My Little Pony number two, which is back from the Queen Chrysalis arc, and it's really nice because it, it's unopened it, and it's a uh, signed and art arted like this was a drawn on by Katie Cook, which is uh, one of the artists for uh, the MLP comic book series, and is a steal at ten dollars in my opinion. Here it says do not open, so it's got the price tag, everything sealing it. So it's never been opened, and I believe, to my knowledge, there's only 500 of these. And um, they're all, like, different designs. This one is uh, Cheer Lee, and it says Teach. It's got a cute little Cheer Lee doodle and uh, autographed. And I've seen one with a Wonderbolt on it online, and to be honest, I haven't seen any other designs. So uh, I guess look out for these. I don't know how they get distributed. I just saw it one day, luckily, and I picked it up. I'm assuming if I had waited, like two more minutes it would have gotten snagged so I guess just right place right time definitely if you have access to a comic shop uh, definitely go every once in a while and see if they add new stuff because uh, now that MLP has broken a million copies sold they're doing a special uh, number 12 issue which they're only making 12 and they're getting distributed uh, through like special giveaways from Hasbro and IDW which is the publisher of MLP comics and there's um there's definitely going to be huge demand for those because there's only going to be 12 for these like I said I think there's 500 of them so they're not incredibly valuable as compared to like those where there's only 12 and I'll put the cover of that on screen and um, I guess that's about it and 
and uh, from other news and stuff, the um, Enterplay has announced their dog tags officially. I guess they've announced them before, but they showed more stuff. They showed a checklist. They showed uh, more pictures from from what they're going to be offering at New York Comic Con. They've mentioned that they're going to be adding the Nightmare Moon poster, which was announced a long time ago, but it's finally going to be at um, at New York Comic Con, so I'll definitely try and get that one. I'm not going to the con, but they usually do those uh, online flash sales where they give a card with a poster. I believe they're offering a Luna card as well, and I'm, I'm just really excited to see all the stuff that they're doing in the future. Obviously, IDW is doing some stuff and uh, with the MLP comics, and I'm just really liking what I'm seeing. Obviously, uh, it's become a weekly thing that the Xbox is uh, releasing uh, My Little Pony picture packs every week. There's been a couple more since the last time I did a video, and uh, I'll put those on screen so you guys can see all sorts of stuff in all sorts of different mediums for you to check out uh, in the world of MLP. And um, it's re getting really awesome. It's really picking up the pace. I felt like there was a little slow period a couple months ago where just stuff wasn't really coming out. At least stuff that didn't appeal to me, but now it seems like everything is appealing to me. So uh, definitely see you guys until next time. Camera Hoarder 101.